I've got the blue background. You've got the reds and the pinks. I love it. We're covering it all. We're like a gender reveal party. <laughs> that's that's actually so funny. That's great. Well, Halston, I got to tell you, my friend, I am so excited to meet you because I have been following your career for a hot minute now. And now we got this new movie coming out and you get to co-star with an absolute legend. I mean, let me just ask you, like, what's going through your head right now as you're gearing up for this movie's release? Um, first of all, thank you so much. That's so nice. And, you know, I think I just have loved this movie from the minute I read the script. I grew up watching rom-coms. They are the reason why I wanted to be an actress. So the fact that we actually got to go out and make one and it's, you know, gonna be out in the world makes me so, so happy. So Daughter of the Bride is about a mother-daughter who have this unspoken bond that they're gonna remain single independent women for life because all they need is each other until one day the mom decides to get married. Working with Marsha was amazing. I mean, she is such a legend and I, I still I feel like I'm having an out of body experience as we talk about it because I've just always really admired her work. So to be on set with her was just a dream come true. Anyone falling in love makes me happy. Any movie about love. What's amazing is you're staying booked and busy, but I gotta tell you, I have been booked and busy ever since I would say like last summer because I cannot stop playing the quarry. Okay, Emma? Oh, wow. <laughs> That makes me so happy. Oh, wow. I didn't know what you were going to say there. I love that. <laughs> I'm keeping you on the edge of your seat like you did in that game. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was so cool. It's like the coolest thing ever. And I have to tell you, like when I was playing this game and I got you off that island, can I tell you like, <laughs> I thought you were like alive the rest of the game. I was like, I saved Emma. Then all of a sudden you were a werewolf in a car. And I was like, oh, what is going on? <laughs> that happens. That happens. That was going to be my next question was, did you kill me or not? <laughs> it's not a question you can ask in every interview. <laughs> How unique is this? So I did save you, but you were a werewolf. I think the next thing we got to do following this interview is now we just have to play the, what do you want to do? Do you want to play the quarry <laughs> together? Or do you want to watch the movie together? <laughs> Uh, we can do both. Let's do both. <laughs> I think if we play the game first, then we'll really be like, yeah, we really need some love and comedy right now. So then we'll watch the movie. That's exactly right. It, it, they'll balance each other out. <laughs> You're so nice. Let's just hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you want. I, I don't you. want this to end. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> and you know, Halston, what's so cool is you've achieved so much at such a young age, but I'm curious, like, if you could kind of like talk to your younger self in a way and they had no idea the incredible product you've been able to do, what maybe word of advice or what kind of like positive note would you want to give them to inspire them to stick in this crazy entertainment industry? I like that question. I think, you know, you have to follow your heart and whatever speaks to you is, um, is the project you should take and, you know, watch as many movies as you can, as many shows as you can to kind of start to understand what you respond to and, and to, you know, have fun. I always say the day it's not fun. I'm going to, I'll be done. It's too mm. crazy of a business otherwise, but I, I love it and I can't imagine a better job. I feel very lucky. Mm.